Hey what up boys? With the live stream just gone, we finally reached a major milestone for Ashes of Creation. Now, initially, I was going to follow up the live stream with a video summarizing all the interesting feedback and giving you some of my... Your what? Your worthless? Pointless? What about babbling? Oh yes, that's a good one. Takes on it. However, it seems the seeds of doubt are beginning to spread once again as people are accusing Intrepid of copy-pasting the meta-human creator from Unreal Engine 5. And I wanted to address that today as the baseless hate towards Ashes of Creation has been getting louder and louder. But before we get into that, grab yourself a <coughs> Copa Cola because I really don't understand why people are so hell-bent on putting this project down. Intrepid are trying to do the one thing that all other MMOs have failed to do. Actually deliver an MMO that we can enjoy again with our pay to win, broken systems and half-baked content. So it begs the question, why? Well, after 15 years of watching the MMO genre become what it has, I think you know why. Now, with all that bollocks out of the way, let's begin, shall we? So the topic in question is multiple threads and comments being created over various cesspits on the internet that shall remain unnamed, claiming that Ashes of Creation is just stealing assets from Unreal Engine 5's kit and selling it as their own. With a quick 5 minute search through them all, it became apparent that this is not much different than normal. Being a channel that covers this game religiously, I've seen so many hate threads towards Ashes that I have a whole channel in my Discord dedicated to highlighting these clowns. Link for the Discord is in the description below by the way. A typical comment would go usually something like this. It's impossible that Intrepid made that. What was showcased is simply meta-human under the hood and or the demo was thrown together to make us believe that they have something they don't. Uh, this of course could be true, but if you've actually been following Ashes of Creation for the last three years, it's pretty obvious everything they've made is made from scratch. Hence why it's been four months since anything significant, but that's beside the point. Hell, even Steven himself went out of his way to say that this creator was entirely built from scratch. Still, that wasn't enough to put people's doubts at rest. They are just words, after all. But if you directly compare MetaHuman with Ashes of Creation's creator, there's a certain amount of rustic design to it that pretty much confirms to me it was made from scratch. It has that scar rough around the edges look that indie projects tend to have in their early stages of development so personally it just sounds like the same old baseless criticisms the game always received even before this channel sunk to its watery grave. But I think we'll touch on this particular subject in a moment because it is rather concerning that a small vocal minority of the MMO player base openly tried to slander MMOs in development. Now, there's no denying that Ashes of Creation is following in the same path a lot of other underwhelming projects have, but from what Intrepid have delivered so far, I'm pretty sure they've already blown them all out of the water. Except maybe Star Citizen, but that's a can of worms I'm not willing to touch yet. Comparing it to the footage I have from Alpha 1, it is a huge step up and they've pretty much delivered exactly what they said they would. And it isn't the first time I've said that sentence, but with Alpha 1 in mind, it's also important to remember that the team have been working on this character creator long before UE5 came along. Steven's been bragging about this character creator's vision all the way back in 2017, and to finally see it come to fruition should be rejoiced. Right? Well, we are the MMO player base after all, and we wouldn't be us if we weren't depressed and criticised everything until it died a very slow and irrelevant death. Isn't that right, New World? Criticism is an extremely important part of development. Many, many times have we cried out as players to our development teams of our beloved MMOs that what you're doing is fucking stupid. Please stop and rethink your design. The prime and most recent example being Shadowlands with the Covenants, and we all know how that turned out, don't we? Criticizing the state of the MMO genre is pretty much what my channel does. I've laid into all of our currently popular MMOs for their dumbass decisions over the years. World of Warcraft, BDO, ESO, New World, Lost Ark, and even 
even Guild Wars 2 has been heavily featured despite me believing it is one of the best MMOs out there to play currently. We criticise our MMOs because we want them to do better, but this era of snowflake mentality has just made everyone so scared of negativity towards dog shit systems that there's no wonder the genre has become what it has. Anyone remember that fiasco from ArenaNet a few years ago? Yeah, drama that stemmed from developers who couldn't handle negative feedback. And rightly so, Ashes of Creation should be no exception to criticism. I'm quite often labelled as the shill for this game, saying it can never do wrong, and this is again just a baseless slander. I've critiqued their corruption system, as I don't believe a PvP system that existed all the way back in 2000 can work in the current year. Black Desert is some pretty compelling evidence for this, and I've highlighted it many many times in my videos. Does that mean I want them to change their vision? No, of course not. I genuinely want them to make it work because I do think open world PvP makes an MMO better. It adds more risk, heightens the reward, and the community factor of the whole game. But it is hard to criticise something that literally doesn't exist yet. Additionally, just because I love to farm a good controversial topic, I think Intrepid's current monetization practices are pretty disgusting. Using FOMO cosmetics whilst trying to sell an MMO with a sub fee and cosmetic store doesn't exactly do the game any favours. I've never shied away from that and I think it's important feedback for Intrepid to hear. I understand why it's this way and I've explained it in various videos but that doesn't mean I'm going to defend something I don't agree with. There's a bunch of other problems people have with the fundamental design and that's okay. That's what open development is for. But there's a big, big difference between criticism and slander. When you have devs literally stating facts in the live stream and then a minority of people just ignore that and tell everyone it's just a bunch of smoke and mirrors, it really serves no purpose outside of well, it's just baseless hate. This particular comment pretty much said it in the nicest way possible compared to the rest, and when you label it this way, it makes a good point. Pretty much saying to elaborate on the more niche aspects of the character creator's development. I don't know about you guys, but one of the best live streams for me was when they rambled on for like 40 minutes on the back-end design about the ghost controller problems that they fixed during Alpha 1. When they discuss these topics that most people would consider boring, it actually resonates out to everyone that they know what they're talking about. That this project is more than just cosmetic deep vaporware. Recently, Intrepid have been making a habit of splitting up the major showcase with the actual livestream VOD and uploading that to YouTube, so why not spend a little bit longer giving us, the people who genuinely care about development, some more behind the scenes information about how you created your tools. It's pretty obvious the MMO player base has been hurt badly by the state of the genre, and until Ashes starts to close in on its finished state, it will always have people lashing out and slandering it, saying it's just cheap looking vaporware. Here's the beauty of Ashes of Creation though, the project speaks for itself. Intrepid say it constantly, but it just doesn't seem to sink in. Quality is on the forefront of their design. I get the feeling Steven especially takes first impressions very seriously, and with the people being so jaded nowadays, I tend to agree that first impressions are very important. It's almost impossible for an MMO to recover from a bad first impressions, and if they do, it tends to take years of corporate funding, and so far there's only only been one success story. But as usual, I am just one nerd desperate for a good MMO, and my opinions mean nothing without yours in the comments below. And hey, I appreciate the crumbs of news that I can flap my gums to, keep up the drama, and I'll be sure to jump on it right away with a pointless video farming ad revenue. But Nark, you're delusional. You can clearly see their creator is just meta-human with a different UI. And to that I say, listen kid, if you're so desperate to hate on a project that doesn't even exist yet, then you need to subscribe to the channel and get high on copium. <laughs>